Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we completed our adventure through the Giant's Claw, so let's head in here then. Whoa! Oh, not this guy again. Maybe he'll just let us go by him. No. Well, you didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Okay, it's boss time! So, first things first, like most of the bosses in these side quests, he has a useful piece of armor for us, so let's charm that from him. I suppose if you cared, you could equip fire-resisting equipment or whatever you want to do, but I'm not gonna. So, Luca, I want her to cast Flare. It's one of our more powerful single techs at this point in the game, if not the most powerful, to my knowledge. And then I want Marley to stand by to use Cube Toss, and that's really all there is to this guy. We don't have to worry about him lowering his defense or anything like that. See, so yeah, I'll just use Flare and Cube Toss over and over again while this guy just stands there and lets us pummel him while he counts down to do something or whatever. So I was thinking about some of the... The movie clips I was using, like the Beetlejuice clips that I used in a couple videos ago. And, you know, I realized that some of my viewers might not have been born when I used that, the, the, when that movie was made. Or, or a lot of the clips that I've been using from B-movies of the 80s. You know, I mean, heck, anyone who's still in high school would, would have been born after when I used all those clips, so... Not that there's anything wrong with that, just that you gotta see those kind of movies. Like Beetlejuice, Goonies, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, those are good times. Some of my favorites. Princess Bride, all the Back to the Future movies. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of you would have been born after Back to the Future even, huh? I remember seeing that movie in the theaters. God, I feel old now. Come on, Isla, you can do it! So, uh, between side quests, one thing that I did was, well, I went to feed my cats, but I didn't bother telling you about it. And I did some, a little bit of testing while I was doing that. One thing I found out was that you can max out your silver points at 200, actually. Which, I didn't know that. I would have thought it would have been 255. I just never bothered because well the biggest game is like 80 silver points so why bother getting that many so I just did it just for just for kicks so yeah you can max out your tech points at 200 um, I did get another kitty by the way another black kitty joined the family so we have 10 kitties now they're such cute kitties I was going to say something else about the cats, but I don't remember. Oh, well. Just keep on spamming cube toss and flare. That's really the best thing you can do. Flare is your most powerful single tech at this point now, I'd say. Unless you have dark matter, but I think flare is still... Uh, well, I don't have dark matter yet. So, there you are. Come on, hurry before he finishes his countdown! Oh, no! We're the ones who are finished now! Oh yeah, now I remember I was going to say. Someone mentioned in a comment earlier that you can get cat food from some of the other mini-games uh, from Norstein Beckler. So I decided to check it out and he was right. You can get cat food from the other games. But I don't think it's quite as much. So whenever I tried it on the 10 point game, I barely got any cat food. So. So just keep doing the 80 point game. Alright, we got the rainbow shell! Let's pick it up and take it back. Put me down! Oh, okay. Well, I guess we gotta find a way to get some help for this one. Let's get some help from the Kingdom of Guardia. Now, I know you don't have ships or anything like that, but maybe if you took some of your knights and picked it up and, um, you know, swim over here with it, you know, that'd be nice, you know. 
All right, he's gonna get the rainbow shell for us and keep it as a national treasury. Well, I thought we could make some like really good armor with it or something. I mean, can, can, can you help us out? Don't you have any blacksmiths or anything? Well, come on, I wanna use the rainbow shell. I want it to get the best stuff in the game. Oh. Okay, well, maybe I gotta return to the future, or, well, the present, in order to put it to use. Okay, where's that rainbow shell? Trial of the century? King Guardia's on trial? Wait, what'd he say? He sold off the royal treasures? Oh, no! Don't tell me he sold the rainbow shell! Say it ain't so! Say it ain't so! Oh, and there's a little basement area over there. Huh, we'll have to check that out later. Right now, we gotta get to the courtroom. Here it is. And you need Marley in order for this scene to progress forward. Let me through! That's my best Marley impression, I'm sorry. I had no idea this existed until the timeline was changed. No one here seems to know about the rainbow shell. Well, then he would have seen it before he sold it, right? I mean, what's going on? Frame the king? What's going on? Proof? What do you mean, the heirloom and the rainbow shell? Where did he put the rainbow shell in the past? And besides, he's a king. How can you put a king on trial? Uh-oh, we got the epic music again. You know what this means, viewers. No, it's not the Ocean Palace. Don't worry. Oh, no. They're not going to let us through. But how can we find the rainbow shell? Where did they put it? Oh, it's somewhere in the castle. Okay. Well, let's go find it then. In the basement? Okay, well, let's get down there. Okay, well, let's check out this new basement area here. Whoa! There's those enemies from the cathedral back in the day. If you tried coming down here earlier, that guard would have been in your way, so... Thirteen generations? Oh, no! Not him again! Well, fortunately, those guys are just as easy as they were before, so... It's a plot to frame the king! Mr. Guardia, on the day that you sold the rainbow shell, did you shampoo your hair? I love how they do those cutscenes. I, I just love how they flash back and forth between... The, the cutscenes, like that they got that transition and everything, like it's some epic movie or something like that. Let's keep going. We can make it! Okay, that should... No, that should be the last of them. There we are, and here's the rainbow shell. What, they didn't even bother taking a look before they put a king on trial? You're kidding me, right? I mean, just, you know, take a look. Okay, well, here we are. We've got the rainbow shell, so how are we going to show it to them? Carry it up there? A letter to Marley? Who's the letter from? Oh, huh. I wonder why Lean would send that to her. How would she know that... Marley and her father are having tough times. Okay, well, let's... Well, how are we gonna... Oh, we get a prism shard. All right, well, there we go. Now we can prove the king's innocence. We've got to hurry back to the courtroom. But that's all the time I have for this episode. Will we be able to save the kingdom of Guardia? What can the chancellor be up to? Did the king remember to rinse and repeat find out next time on let's play chrono trigger this is hc bailey signing off have a good day <laughs>